processing just how crazy the tenant that was? <laughs> You know, we, we felt what we said to the guys after the second was, uh, you know, win your shift, give yourself a chance. It's right there in front of you. And uh, the first shift was good. And, and we, we, we built a couple in a row there. And um, and then you start to get a little momentum. We just we were talking as coaches. We just didn't feel like we had a lot of that in the game. There would be spurts of it. Um, but you can feel the you can feel it in the building when you when one, two, three, four shifts in a row and then the, the crowd gets involved and. Uh, that's certainly as a player, they feel that too. So that it, it helps you. And then the bench starts to become alive. And um, unfortunately, a couple of penalties kind of took us away from that. But, but uh, yeah, it's, it was uh, for us to come back and win that game was a, was a big deal. Really proud of, of the group. Mentally, how do you feel like the, the guys handled Alex's there? Um, you know, you, I didn't see the call. I still want to, I, I still want to see it on video. Um, I just my my comment to the ref is I hope I hope it was a penalty because if it wasn't then that that'd be a terrible way to end this game. Um, but that that penalty kill was outstanding. You know Hunter Lelick blocked three or four shots. Anton Malmstrom blocks. I mean those guys you know ate a bunch of pucks there at the end, which was which was huge. And and you need that because St. Thomas had had a, had a good plan and and was was zipping the puck around pretty good and, and getting some opportunities. So. Yeah, that that penalty kill, they, they the guys handle it, and and after that kill, the guys were like, you could feel how excited everybody was for those block shots. What's Langford's goal under review? What was going through your mind as you're anticipating whether or not it was a goal? Um, I think Stavros was trying to talk to Coach Powers up top, but he couldn't hear him because it was so loud. And then and then the players on the ice don't, they're not going to lie. You know, they they said it's a good goal, it's a good goal. So we weren't terribly concerned about it. You understand why they look at it at that time and and just the angle and the way it went in, you know, it wasn't like it went in low and popped out. It was up high. And so, uh, you know, you don't fault them for looking at it because you do want to get it right. But the, the guys on the bench that were out there on the ice said it went in. So uh, you, you, you never know, but you, you felt pretty confident at that point. Seven minutes of power play time in the opening period. What were your thoughts kind of heading into that intermission with the coaching staff? Um, you know, we had... Uh, you know, we got the power play goal early to get us on the board. Good tip by by Nathan and good shot by uh, Vinny. Um, we felt like, you know, that certainly tilted the ice and that was a good period for us in terms of, of zone time and shots and possession. Uh, we would have liked to seen us get a little more out of it. We, we felt like we settled for stuff and took some some bad shots, you know, just took some shots to take a shot because we'd been out there for a minute and we hadn't had a shot and we, you know, Barry went into a guy's shin pads or whatever. And, and St. Thomas was certainly willing to block shots. But, uh, you know, they, they have scored a goal in, in each of the last three games, and, and that's a positive. And then, and then the penalty kill did a really good job. So uh, anytime you can score on the power play, it makes them feel better. But there's still room. Uh, we, we believe we've got capable players uh, as part of both of those units. And, and so the, the expectation uh, for them is, is to get good looks and, and, and score power play goals. Yeah, really good. You know, their, their guy did a real good job. Uh, all weekend long uh, for a freshman, and um, and then Christian was really good for us again. Uh, and we put him in some difficult spots. I think that's the the one thing where, you know, when we watch video today, um, Christian played great last night, right? And but some of that was what we did to allow them to get the, you know, allow St. Thomas to get the rush or to get the break or or whatever it was. And and some of that stuff starts with just. Do you skate behind the net on the four check or do you come up on top or are you in good position? It's, it's not necessarily the play at the end. It starts, you know, it's a little play a long way away that may seem insignificant that turns into something big. But yeah, both of those goaltenders did a really good job tonight. Uh, so uh, you're pretty, the team's pretty disciplined throughout the first two periods, but in the third period, the penalty uh, issues started to come back a little bit. Do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah. Um, so what? We, so Ben Wasney took the was Ben's was a we took a penalty while we were on the power play right a, a little cross check behind the net. Mm, not sure. I didn't see Barbers in front of their net. Uh, again, I want to go see that on video. Our guys up top didn't think it was a penalty. And uh, am I missing one there? Is there another one in the third? Uh, we might have had one more. I'm not. I'm not sure. Oh, holding was it? No. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember which the third penalty was. But, you know, I, I thought we were pretty disciplined all weekend, it, all told, you know. Um, Ben's is kind of ticky-tacky. I'm not sure about Barber's. Um, 
and uh, I can't recall which the other one was, but yeah, but um, but, the, but the penalty kill did what they're supposed to do. And Christian's part of that penalty kill too. He made a couple. He made a save on that puck that went through the crease at one time. He was on top of it, ready to go. So good for him. How big is it to escape to the sweep, especially with how close they were to, to finding a way to win? Game? Yeah, I mean, you think about it. You're when did when did Scardina score with like four minutes left? Five thirteen. So you're you're five minutes away from splitting the series and you get three points and then you tie it and you're 17 seconds away from you know going into overtime and maybe getting five points maybe four for sure four and then you score with 17 seconds left and and you get six so you know hopefully that's this is the kind of game and uh, the kind of result that that gives us a little momentum you know we three in a row here now is is, is a good response to losing five in a row so uh, hopefully we can have a good good week of practice and the guys feel good about our first sweep of the year and and that'll give us some momentum moving up to as we go up to Fair State.